Hi, I'm Steve from Steve's Kitchen and I got my fancy hat on, so I thought I'd do something fancy. It kind of brings me back to the Renaissance Club downtown Detroit where I was the executive chef for a number of years, as well as the Skyline Club. This is one of our favorite dishes that we used to do table side, but I'd like to show you, present it to you now, and uh, here we go. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I got a nice hot pan. I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of oil on the inside of the pan. As you can see, the oil is flowing real good, so I know my pan is getting nice and hot. So I'm gonna take these beautiful tenderloins that I did earlier, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go with salt and pepper on both sides. And what I did was I mixed my salt and my pepper together, and I have a little bit of garlic salt in there and a little bit of chef's love. So what I wanna do is just get that in there a little bit. And as you can see, my pan is getting very, very hot. What I wanted to do is almost dance. So when it's in the pan, you can hear it start crackling, you hear the smoke going, but it's so important when you put a cold meat into a hot pan to get the sear. So what I wanna do is, I almost want this to smoke because once I put the beef in there, it's gonna cool the pan. So I really want it to be very, very hot. So I use just a little bit of oil, uh, my 80-20, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my two tenderloins, and I'm just gonna put it in the bottom of the pan, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly let that cook for a little bit. Now, as it's sizzling right there, I don't want to move it around. I don't want to flip it over back and forth. I just want to let it go. And what I'm going to show you is what you want to do is look on the sides for a good sear. So as we hear it, the smoke, the flavor, I mean, it's already smelling very, very good. So basically, I'm just going to let that cook for a little bit. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my ingredients real quick. What I have is shiitake mushrooms, cremini mushrooms. I have a little bit of garlic and shallots, a little bit of our favorite red wine. I also have a little bit of demi-gloss that I made. I have Dijon mustard and a little bit of whole butter to finish it up. Now, if we go back to our steak here, you can see that I'm starting to get a nice, beautiful sear mark. And that's all you need to do. Now, what makes this dish perfect for table side is the thickness of the steak, because I'm gonna wanna serve this rare, medium, rare, but you can cook it a little bit longer. It's completely up to you. But I'm going to remove it to the pan, and then I'm going to make my sauce, and I'm going to add the tenderloin, or the turnidos, back to the pan. So now that I have a nice sear mark on the pan, I'm going to get all that nice juice in there. I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to take my tenderloin and just set it on this clean plate. You never want to go ahead and put it on a plate that has the raw ingredients. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of whole butter. I'm gonna swish it around, get that going. I'm gonna get my mushrooms, which I have cremini, shiitake, and you can use any mushroom for this that you like. And then I'm gonna lightly saute that. And what I'm gonna do is after the mushrooms begin to cook and they sweat down a little bit, I'm going to add my garlic and my shallots. And the reason why I do that is because I do not want the garlic and shallots to burn. So I'm going to add a little shallots and a little bit of garlic. So I'm going to move that around the plate, get that going, make it jump around a little bit. And then my next step is to go ahead and add a little bit of red wine. And my favorite part is I'm going to grab some brandy or cognac and I'm gonna get that in there. And what we wanna do is get a little bit of flame, a little bit of flame. And what we wanna do is cook off the alcohol and the wine. So after I did that, I'm gonna grab a little bit of demi-gloss that I made earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit in there. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of Dijon mustard. And this dish is called a Steak Diane. And I'm not sure if everybody remembers the Renaissance Club, but we could sell 20 or 30 of these table side. So I'm gonna got that in there, and I'm just gonna move that around. And what I wanna do is just make a light, light sauce. And then I wanna do is finish it with a little bit of whole butter. I'm gonna add a little bit of whole butter to that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put my steak Diane back into the pan, like so. And I wanna get that nice and get all those flavors and the font from the pan. 
just like that. Get the butter all cooked up really nice. And at the Renaissance Club, one of our favorite dishes, we used to sell 20 of these. The servers loved doing it, the guests and members loved it, and it's a great wow factor. So what we would do is the plate would actually arrive at the table, and we'd pick up a dome, and then we'd go ahead and set it on that dome. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of that real quick. Okay, now our steak Diane is almost finished. I let it reduce just a little bit, and we're ready for plating. So I'm gonna present it over here real quick. And this is what we're gonna do is I have a beautiful plate that just came out of the kitchen. And what we have is a borson with potatoes. And I found these beautiful baby carrots, red, purple, and yellow, just gorgeous. And I'm gonna show you how we present that real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take one of our tenderloins very carefully. I'm gonna present it right on the plate like that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of our steak Diane sauce that we just made table side. And we're gonna go ahead and just cover the steak. The shiitake mushrooms, the demi-glaze, just beautiful. And the little Dijon mustard. And then I'm gonna hit it just with a little bit of chives. But then again, I'm not gonna spread them all over the plate. I'm just gonna put them just perfectly there. So this is one of our dishes that we used to serve at the Renaissance Club. It's a steak Diane with a wild mushroom sauce made with a Jean mustard and some cognac with borsum whipped potatoes and some baby carrots. I want to thank everybody and I hope everybody enjoys this and I'm looking forward to sharing many, many more recipes, ideas, reviews, and if you can keep on commenting, sharing, and I really appreciate it and I look forward to cooking for everyone. Thank you.